Hello everyone, I'm Stephen and you're watching Stephen Love Science. And I have in front of me what seems to be, with the exception of some water, an empty jar. But that's actually far from the case. Let's turn off the lights and I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, the jar was glowing and doing actually a very special type of biological glowing known as bioluminescence. So in this jar have a unique group of marine organisms in the phylum dinoflagellata, dinos meaning whirling in Greek. So of course, as biologists, we can explore the exact mechanism by which these dinoflagellates produce their light, biochemically speaking, but I want to save that for later. In today's video, I want to talk about why these dinoflagellates glow. And of course, nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution. So we're going to be exploring the why from an evolutionary perspective today. So here we have our dinoflagellates glowing. And when the dinoflagellates emit light at a wavelength of around um, 470 nanometers, so that can actually travel a considerable distance in aquatic environments. So here we have our dinoflagellates, and they're about to be eaten by a shrimp. So when the shrimp is coming and, and swimming in by the dinoflagellites, that'll create a, a shear force which will disturb the dinoflagellites, which will cause them to glow. As we saw, they only glue when I was shaking them. So here we can see the shrimp is about to have a nice dinner of dinoflagellites, but the dinoflagellites light up, and their light will illuminate the shrimp and allow the shrimp to become visible to maybe this fish over here. So this fish is now going to be able to see the shrimp because he's being illuminated by the dinoflagellites. So that allows the dinoflagellites to tip off a predator two trophic levels above them. So that's basically it as far as the burglar alarm hypothesis. And I encourage you to, um, actually you can get these dinoflagellites pretty cheaply online and they're really not that hard to take care of. So they've been a lot of fun for me over the past few days. Um, and I encourage you to stay tuned for next week's video on the exact mechanisms by, by which dinoflagellites produce their light and we can explore some of the applications that these, that these biochemistry has found in science and the commercial applications as well. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Stephen Love Science.